News clippings on lords in the education program. Why are they here? Uh, Lord Martin is so in association with friends, Lord Harrington and Lord Collins is the co-founder of the special education program uh, in, assisting, in assisting the poor, the poor to build better lives and more certain futures. These three gentlemen surely help lift the level of our struggling society. Yeah, right in the fields, right? Let's compare this list with the evidence that we found earlier. Let's see. This is the list of selected participants for October's special education program. According to this poster, John Strobridge is missing. Yeah. Let's compare them with people from Hearst documents. Uh, um. This man appears in both documents. People in Marsh's document are marked and dated in George Hurst's files. Mm. Okay. Uh, Daniel Jones, Group B, Daniel Smith, Group B, da David uh, Papillion, uh, Group C, Edgar Bristol, Group B, Edgar, Edgar Evans, Group A. Garfield Little, Group C, Harold Davis, Group A, Henry Hepburn, Scott, Group A, uh, Henry Pelham, Group C, John Strobridge, Group S, and so on and so forth. All the ones on the list are also in the Group A, yeah. No, I'm, I'm thinking last chance. I'm thinking that's what's happened. Right. Uh, oh. It does say hers. So odd how it would be easy red and hard. Exactly. You don't. You don't. You would replace the R and S with an N. That's what. That's what I saw. Really. What's this? Oh, bullets. This case must have been full of cartridges. Hmm. Uh, dear George, I do understand you and it's so sad. Same as you, I can't find a job, not not even the smallest thing. My children have nothing to eat. Um when I try to find something, the bosses just say that they don't wanna they don't want wounded people working for them. Our military service means nothing. Our country used us in a war but now has abandoned us, no one cares. Friend Jack. I uh, wish they would have called him Mike Hunt. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't read that through. <laughs> her, by her royal queen, her, her, the, this is how you know what era it is. By her royal majesty Queen Victoria um, of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. I, Frederick Russell Burnham, major of the British Army, declare the country has ascended the grat its gratitude to George Hurst as an honourable soldier of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland for his valiant for his valiant military service. The Great British Army hereby awards him the Distinguished Con Conduct Medal for and retires him due to injuries sustained in duty. Major Frederick Russell Burnham. Right, so his situation was, was something on the stand. That was probably his rifle. There was a rifle here. George Hurst took it with him. Hmm. Okay, so he... Ah. See, now... That changes that. He has the gunner. He went to the forest. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, right here. Oh, 
to you. That connects that to that. Mm. That seems like the case, yeah. Sun interest. Jeremy Sun interest is a person and it's just appearance as a connected form. Oh, yep. No, I'm going to continue. Because if we go... That way... Because if we went this way... Yeah... If we went that way, there would be no link. I think this makes sense. And this makes no sense because it was violent and everything else. Which is why he took his rifle with him. No. I'm not accepting that. I don't think he died. Because there's still... He's gone missing. I'm sure he's gone missing. I'm not deducting the fact that he's just dead. I'm not deducting that he just died. You know. I would have to, yeah, I would have to do that and just get more information. Because there is no way that like, he's just dead. Need more evidence to do in the death outcome. Exactly. It's, it's, it's too simple, it's too obvious that he's just straight up fucking dead. There needs to be more evidence. Nothing in the case is dead exactly. It doesn't make any sense. Holmes, what are you doing here? What are you planning? A mission of my own. You must play the role of the conscientious doctor while I sneak inside Marsh's house. That's the only way of helping little Tom. Alright. Let's go here. Right. So before this one and this one, here. Right, everything led to him being just flat out dead. Right. That's where everything else points from, but I wasn't accepting that because yes. Logically, it does make sense, but logically, it doesn't make sense. He can't just be straight out dead without a reason. We don't know whether he was murdered, whether it was on accident, whether it was during a commotion, all that. So, I'm taking that as a no for answer. And I'm going back, I'm sneaking into Marsh's house, see if I can get it, something more. Because it's just not enough evidence to back up the fact he's just straight up dead. You know? So I'm taking no for an answer and I'm sneaking into Lord Marsh's home. Fast walk, detective. Fast walk, yes. Quick step. Da -da 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 -da. So now we open evasion. Lane. Right. So. Uh, I'm betting the poor father was shot in the head in a threat of revenge. Could be, yeah. Right. Nope, okay. Um, 
There's no space for this lockpick. There's no space for this lockpick. There's no space for this lockpick. Say, okay, remove. Got it, done. He knew, um, uh, he knew something that he wanted to stop. Yeah, exactly. He wasn't taking a fucking rifle with him. How can I help you? I came to visit Lord Marsh. What for? I would very much like to see Lord Marsh, if you please. Oh, you're so clumsy. Can you please not- I have to visit Lord Marsh and offer him my services. Fisher, please allow Dr. Watson to enter. Good job, Watson. Well, that fucking worked. All right. <laughs> I panicked. Right. Um. I can hide here. Nice. Right. Something here. Let's see how hard to crack this safe is. Right. Doctor, it appears that you were impatient to pay me another visit. Indeed. Will you allow me to examine you? A second opinion, so that the great Lord Marsh does not become the late Lord Marsh. Oh, well, since you put it that way, very well. Shall I retire to your office, Lord Marsh? No, please, Doctor. I insist that you stay. I shall need your assistance. Will you break anything else? I'll try my best. Need to hide, need to hide, need to hide, need to hide, need to hide. Mr. Holmes? What are you doing here? I was cleaning. Yeah, I've been cold. Will you break anything else? I'll try my best. Right. Need to hide, need to hide, need to hide. He's gonna notice the painting. He's gonna notice the painting. <laughs> right, okay, right. Listening out, won't be able to look at chat. I haven't done it before. I saw my all of these poopers. They seem to be. They seem seem to me such a fresh, such a breath of fresh air communicating with them. Such a such a pleasure. Such a pleasure. And they are so smart, not like us. Perhaps they should have been lords, and we the simple commoners. November seventh. This means that the meeting is planned for today. Dear Lord March, on November the 7th, our meeting starts at Grey's and I have attached the map. Oh, so easy. That's the map. I won't see this anymore. Uh, to this day, I'm the master. Uh, to this day, and by my estimates, or to. The uh, estimation the special education program has saved over 200 individuals from the gutter and yes very uh, 
and evalu evaluated them to help form and support the, criti the critical foundations of our pos 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 prosperous think empire, the largely thanks to the wisdom and foresight of Lord Marsh, who is the most progressive and wise politician. Oh, he's a politician. Uh, he carried out a great deal of work in this field while ignoring the critics and hin hindrance from his ignorant colleagues, who are set in their ways, right? Uh, don't know why, thanks to the special guest of my life has been thank you. What's in here? Why is this so big? No! <laughs> oh. Dear Lord Colin, it's okay to me never have a lot of I'm assuming that's the entire desk. I'm assuming that's the entire desk, so. Lord Marsh is a keen hunter. I think that's everything searched. Yeah, everything searched. Hmm. I'd suggest that your current weakness is perhaps more than a simple case of influenza, Lord Marsh. <laughs> Where might your companion be, Dr. Watson? Oh, he's busy poking his nose into other people's business, I'm sure. <clears throat> Dr. Watson, what are you doing? Fuck! Okay, 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 okay. My lord, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I must remind you about your meeting. Is it already time? My apologies, Dr. Watson, but we are expected elsewhere. Might we offer you a lift? You are going out. I'm not sure that's wise in your condition. I value your opinion. But misery never rests, and I am needed. Well, do please take good care of yourself, Lord Marsh. Yes. I'll send you my diagnosis, Dr. Fisher. Thank you, Dr. Watson. Farewell. We did it! We did it! Right. I am not right. Need more evidence. That's fine. We can find more evidence. Oh, the hell! Nice. Right. Watson, what are you doing at my table? I just need to check one thing about Lord Marsh. <gasps> my intuition tells me that Lord Marsh is hiding something about his disease. His cough, in addition to his fever and his usage of strong painkillers, leads me to believe that he is seriously ill. Hmm. Hmm. Right, okay. Let's study it more closely. Yes. Back. Sputum with tiny drops of blood. Hmm. I could take a sample and examine it under the microscope. Mm hmm. Right. Let us apply chemicals to color the sample. Uh. Um, I need a pipette. I'm, I'm thinking. Here? This chemical should be applied third. Okay. So this one. Then.
Now, let's examine the colored sample under the microscope. Yes. Let's do that. Ow. I need a sample first. Oh, shut up, Watson. It depends. It depends. Ah. Uh -huh. Mycobacterium. It appears that Lord Marsh is seriously ill. Did he? Well, fuck me. Holmes, this is no longer a laughing matter. It is just as I feared Lord Marsh is suffering from tuberculosis. You don't say. Yes, I do say. And Holmes, he will die if he is not transferred to a sanatorium as soon as possible. And yet both Lord Marsh and Dr. Fisher are doing their best to hide this fact. Hmm. How interesting. Yes, but how interesting. Why? why indeed, Watson? Oh, but... Oh, dear God. You don't think that Lord Marsh contracted tuberculosis while aiding the poor? How terrible. I have a commitment that I can't possibly cancel. Holmes, during my absence, please be extremely careful. I can try. This disease is highly contagious. And remember that we have women at home. Okay, look, okay, I'll be careful. Thank you, Miss Alice. Until later. I'll see you soon, Caitlin. Where have you been? Our neighbor lent me a book. She is so kind. I think she likes you. Oh. <laughs> I doubt that. How is your investigation going? It's going. Dracula? Yes. It's forbidden reading at my boarding school. Did you know? Well, oh. well. Um, it might be something more than, um, he doesn't want people to know. It might be something more, um, it may be something more, maybe they just don't want to, um, Maybe uh, I would be careful, but usually the end of uh, the end of the Pokemon Squad. It's an interesting time, Watson. <laughs> it is thrilling. I bet. <coughs> oh, well, well. Me. Sweet slumber after a hard working day. On my pillow. All <laughs> uh, right. Could have done something real bad and called it. Oh yeah, he could have done. He could have. He could have done something real bad. Uh no. Okay. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Okay. 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 Ah, uh, you know what? Yes. I mean, it could be because he it doesn't want, you know, he could be hiding up because he doesn't want other people to know. He could be doing it to save his business, or he called it from something else. Uh, batches of metal. I think this one would do. Here it is. Okay. Yeah, there were multiple reasons. No. Fuck, I didn't want to go back. But it's whether we can find his, um. It's whether we can find his true intentions. You've got a point, Flames. You've got a point. You may be right, actually. But it's depending on where back in the day. God, if I can't figure it out, I'm gonna have to skip. But when? Hmm. Oh! There we go. Uh, Grunts is under the strange, mysterious creature guards of the building. Hmm. Here it is. Cronston's Oak is in Epping Forest. That's the place indicated on George Hurst's map. Yeah. You know what, that's a point. I like how that's the only hint he gives, not the one I need. Yeah, it says, not the one I need. 
I mean, it's a hint. You know, it's it's a hint. Doesn't explain why. It doesn't explain. So we know he went there. We know he went somewhere. Let's go to Hurst. It doesn't, so we know he went to the same place that literally he's going. I've dropped 55. Yeah, there was a reason why he's there. The reason why he went there and the reason why he was there, but why? Please, sir, find my father. Oh, useful child. Uh. 